Welcome to this video on literature searching from the Department of Engineering Library, University of Cambridge. As well as this video, slides and a transcript are available. So, you're searching for information for your dissertation. This could be articles about what has been researched before, or business and industry information and the markets they work in. But how do you define what you are looking for? Which resources can you use to find information? and what are the best methods for searching those resources. This video will help you with all of that and more. It might be tempting to jump straight in, but take some time to think about your research question and what information you are looking for to support this first. If you don't have a finalised research question at this stage, you probably have a broad sense of what you're interested in and you can search in that broader area to help you define your research question. To help you define your question, can you summarise it? If you were writing a journal article or report based on your topic, what would you call it? And from that summary, can you identify keywords that you could search for to find it? Taking time here saves you time overall. Let's look at a practical example. Here's an example research question, evaluating the role of media in modifying consumer behaviour in sustainable fashion consumption. What keywords or phrases can we identify from this topic that we could use to search? Have a think. These are the keywords and phrases that I thought of from this research question. Media, consumer behaviour and sustainable fashion consumption. You could start building a search with the keywords identified and get some relevant results. However, it is useful to think of synonyms and alternative keywords as authors don't always use the same terminology. A thesaurus can be useful for synonyms as can Wikipedia or Google. Colleagues and peers may also suggest alternative keywords you could use. Back to our example. If we look at our keywords and think about the synonyms, acronyms, abbreviations, broader and narrower terms, we can expand the keywords we can use to search for information. By expanding the range of keywords we use, we are li less likely to miss information. It is also useful at this point to consider the type of information we are looking for. In this example, we have industry information as well as research topic. My top tip would be to make notes of all the terms and keywords you come up with, perhaps in a table similar to this one. Let's now move on to search strategies and methods. Once you have your keywords, you can use a range of search methods for putting them together. One of those is called phrase searching. This technique narrows the search to retrieve only those results in which the exact phrase appears. Without quotation marks, all the words would be searched for as separate keywords. Another method is to use Boolean searching. Search engines like Google automatically put AND between your search terms. So you can use the Boolean term AND or 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 NOT. Be very careful when using NOT as it may exclude relevant results depending on the keyword. One last method is truncation which can be used to search for different forms of the same word. Now you have thought about your topic and keywords, search strategies and methods, where can you look? I discover is the University of Cambridge catalogue and the quickest way to find books, journals and articles we have access to. Let's go and take a look. I 
am currently interested in articles and online resources because I have an article title that I am looking for. So I'm going to tick that middle circle. And the title of the article I am looking for is What is Sustainable Fashion? Once I've typed it into the search box, I click on the search icon to begin the search. And the top two results are what we're looking for. The first one is for the online access restricted PCs. So we would rather get an openly online version, which is the second result down. If I click on the title, I can find out more about it. In this screen with the detail, if I scroll down to view it, which is just here, I can see that there are two ways to this article. Both have the same date range, so I will just choose the top one. And because I'm already signed into Raven, it's taken me straight to the publisher website. And here I can read the full text of the whole article straight away. If I wanted the PDF, I could download that to read at a later point. Let's go and find another resource. Google Scholar. This makes searching for academic articles easy, but not everything in Google Scholar is available and free to read. Let's go and take a closer look. Let's try some of our search terms from before. We have digital media and sustainable fashion. We've put in quite a simple search and we haven't been prescriptive about it. Why don't we try some quotation marks to see if that narrows our search down. And that is a much easier number to deal with for articles to read. I could narrow it down further if I wanted to limit myself by date using the date ranges on the left. I could also look at the cited by count. This is an indication of an influential article, although it could be influential for all of the wrong reasons. You will also see that some of the articles on here have an eJournals at Cambridge link next to them. That's because I've set up my library links in Google Scholar and here's how I did it. I went to the three horizontal lines on the left of the screen. I then went down to settings, the cog icon. And here is library links. By clicking on it, I'm given a search box and I can search for the University of Cambridge. This would bring up this option here that I've ticked and I've pressed save. And from now on, every time I search, the eJournals at Cambridge link will show for any Cambridge accessible articles. One other thing that I could show you on this screen is that you can star articles once you're logged in and you can save them to your Google library. These are all the articles I've recently starred. Let's look at our final resource. It's academic databases. We have over 800 of them. To make it more relevant to you, I would suggest that you go and look at the business databases, which are available from the Cambridge Judge Business School. Here is their LibGuide. As you can see, they have a huge range of databases that cover a wide range of topics in the business world. If I knew what I was looking for, I might want to go and use the database A to Z to find what database I wanted to use. However, if I knew I just needed to find information in a certain area, say company or industry or market research, 
I might click on these tabs instead. Each one shows a list of databases that will find information relevant in that area with a little brief description of that database and what you can do with it. There's also one for journals and articles to find academic information. The two databases I would recommend are ABI Inform Complete and Business Source Ultimate. Let's take a closer look. Here you can see a normal search box like we've been using all the way through. What you will also see over there in the top right is a help. Every academic database has one of these and if you get stuck, go and take a look. It will help you out. Let's enter some searches. You can see I'm trying some of the search methods I outlined earlier. I'm using phrase searching to make sure that it's searching for those phrases. You can see I've got an asterisk so I can search for a variety of endings at the end of sustain. Let's see what we find out. No result. That's not great at this point, but I can edit and amend my search. This is all part of the search process and it's things that we do every time. Let's see if I can get a bit better. I'm going to use brackets because that lets me determine what gets searched for initially. In this case, the database will search for digital media or social media first before combining with any other searches. I'm also going to take consumption off the end of fashion. And perhaps Given we had so many variations on sustainable fashion, I will try green fashion. Now let's see what happens. 473 results. So some small changes means that I'm starting to get articles and hopefully they're becoming more and more relevant. At the minute, it looks like lots and lots of company reports. And that's not quite what I'm after in this database, at least. One final modification. As you can see, with consumer behaviour, I've moved the asterisk into the word so it can look for the UK and US spelling. And 65 results. And the second result down looks really useful for my research question. So my research is getting more and more precise. I could carry on. There's lots of variations. We came up with a lot of keywords earlier, but at this point, Let's get back to the presentation. There's a couple more things I want to show you. So what can we do if we get stuck? For example, with problem one, you're finding too many articles, but not all of them are relevant. In this case, much like I did with the previous search, I would look at the search filters and look at the Boolean terms to exclude irrelevant results. For problem two, you're not finding many articles at all, I'd broaden my search to a more general search or maybe revisit the search strategy and the keywords I'd chosen and perhaps even talk to my librarian to see if they had any suggestions. For problem three, the articles I'm finding are too old to be relevant. This is where filters come in and I can specify the time period I'm looking at. For problem four, Search Google for key terms in your discipline and look for alternatives that way. And for problem five, with too many articles, most of which are relevant, I'd look to see if I could find a key article, the one that everybody's citing, and go from there. And possibly you might need to narrow your research question down. And for problem six, when the information is too specific, maybe look for an introductory textbook or a popular article on the subject. 
that might make it easier to understand. One thing I wanted to mention is access to articles, which can be very, very complicated. We now have a range of plugins which helps you get through all the complicated publisher logins. Lean Library is the one I would recommend installing as soon as possible. So, do you have any questions after this video? If so, please look at the LibGuides for subject, collection and study skills support. You can also contact the engineering library team with your queries. In summary, during this video, I've shown you how to think about your research question and turn it into search terms. You've seen a range of methods for using your search terms. And I have demonstrated that you need to use different search methods and keywords to search different databases. And also, do you keep a record of all the searches that you do? Thank you and good luck with your literature search.